IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a time when you had to make a compromise or reach a consensus. What was the situation or decision that required a compromise? Who else was involved in the process? How did you negotiate and find a middle ground? What was the outcome of the compromise or consensus? In the labyrinth of life's intricate decisions, there inevitably come moments when the art of compromise and the pursuit of consensus emerge as guiding stars. One such instance that vividly etches itself into my memory is when I, along with my colleagues, found ourselves at a crossroads during a crucial project at my previous workplace. The situation at hand was a complex one. Our team was tasked with developing a groundbreaking marketing strategy for a high-stakes client, one that required a delicate blend of innovation and familiarity. Each team member brought forth their unique perspective, resulting in a passionate clash of ideas. The challenge was to marry these diverse viewpoints into a coherent and effective plan while ensuring that everyone's contributions were valued. Our team consisted of individuals with contrasting backgrounds and expertise. The marketing maven, the data virtuoso, the creative prodigy, all engaged in a spirited debate that spanned days. As the deadline loomed large, it became evident that a harmonious resolution was imperative. This called for a meticulous approach that sought to honor each idea's essence while aligning with the project's core objectives. Negotiation commenced with a willingness to listen and learn. Diplomacy became our guiding principle, and we fostered an atmosphere where opinions were voiced without inhibition. At times, the negotiations resembled a delicate dance, where compromise was the key move. We acknowledged the beauty in each suggestion, dissected its potential, and identified areas of convergence. To pave the way for consensus, we employed the strategy of bridging the gap. It involved identifying common threads within each proposal and weaving them into a cohesive fabric. This allowed us to construct a comprehensive marketing approach that retained the charm of creativity while harnessing the power of data-driven insights. The process, although arduous, epitomized the notion that the sum is often greater than its parts. The outcome of our collaborative endeavor was nothing short of remarkable. We presented a marketing strategy that seamlessly blended the boldness of unconventional thinking with the stability of proven methods. The client, initially skeptical of our ability to find common ground, was astounded by our proposal's innovation and cohesiveness. Our achievement not only cemented our professional credibility, but also underscored the significance of compromise and consensus in navigating intricate challenges. In conclusion, the episode exemplifies the magnificence of human interaction, where compromise and consensus act as the gears that propel progress. It serves as a testament to the fact that through negotiation and understanding, even the most divergent of ideas can be molded into a masterpiece of ingenuity. As we journey through life's convoluted pathways, may we remember that the art of compromise and the spirit of consensus are beacons that illuminate the way to success.